Today we will talk about the popliteal sciatic nerve block. As with any prime real estate, it's about location, location, location. Let's begin with a quick review of the anatomy. The sciatic nerve originates from the lumbosacral plexus. It runs down the posterior portion of the leg. It innervates the hamstrings and muscles of the leg below the knee. It bifurcates 0 to 9 centimeters above the popliteal fossa. The sciatic nerve is comprised of tibial and common perineal nerves in a perineural sciatic sheath. Both tibial and common perineal nerves are separate and distinct within the sciatic sheath throughout the entire course. As such, we must adopt new nomenclature for the sciatic nerve. Both tibial and common perineal nerves are covered by their own epineurium. Since they lie within the sciatic sheath, we must term the sciatic sheath a perineural sheath, with perineural connective tissue separating the nerves. This subperineural connective tissue is mainly fat tissue, however some vessels and small branches of nerves exist. This is important for a popliteal sciatic nerve block. Where should we place a needle for a successful block? Hopefully most agree that intrafascicular needle placement and injection is bad. So is it more beneficial to inject outside the perineural sheath? Studies show that there is a long setup time and decreased duration if injected outside the perineural sheath. This is not ideal. Can it be injected inside the perineural sheath? The same studies show that there is a faster setup time and longer duration. This is the best option. This video shows a popliteal sciatic nerve block. As you see, tibial and common perineal nerves have joined together in the common perineural sheath at the bifurcation. Needle will approach from the left and advance until it reaches the perineural sheath under the common perineal nerve. The perineural sheath is entered, the needle is advanced above tibial nerve, and injection is made. The injection stays within the common perineural sheath and surrounds both nerves. The needle has not violated either nerve. So, injection under the perineural sheath or within the perineural sheath is not intrafascicular injection and is beneficial to a successful popliteal sciatic nerve block. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.